Hi! A lot can be said about the times we live in right now, but one thing is positive. Technologies that used to be reserved for professionals and very expensive are still getting more widely available and affordable for hobby use. Like the gamma spectrometer in my previous video and the laser power meter I will test in this video. This is the cheapest laser power meter I know of, but is it too cheap? How does it compare to the four times as expensive one I have used so far? Let's find out! Use laser safety glasses when handling class 3B and class 4 lasers, and if you are unsure of their true classification. This little laser power meter is unbranded. It is often sold under the name pocket laser power meter, but labeled HWLPM Mini 10 watts. I guess it stands for high wattage laser power meter, though the max 10 watt laser is a bit of a stretch of the truth. More info later. I will simply refer to it as the Mini and the other as the Sanwu. Using the Mini is very simple. You turn it on, aim a laser at the center of the sensor and read the measured wattage on the display. It usually takes around 20 seconds to get warmed up by the laser, despite the 1 to 5 seconds response time claimed in the manual. The Sanwu is a bit faster but still needs up to 15 seconds to stabilize. For this laser, labeled as below 50 mW, it ends up at 46 mW. Seems legit, but I would like to compare the Mini to the branded Sanwu that I trust more. Especially because you can calibrate it to the right laser color, wavelength of the laser. The sensors do not absorb all colors equally well, so for max precision, the LPM should know the laser's color. I can sell it to the Sanwu, but not the Mini. Let's test the two laser power meters side by side with the same laser. First, I'll use this green laser labeled as below 1 mW, suggesting it is a relatively eye safe class 2 laser. More on laser classes in another video. Will the LPMs agree on this rating? I will test 10 times with the laser at 5 cm distance, switching between the laser power meters after each run. This way, any change in the laser's output from warming up overheating, battery drain, battery warm-up, etc. will be evenly distributed between the two power meters. For each run, I will read the wattage after the laser has been on for 20 seconds, giving the power meters time to settle. Starting with the Sanwu, after setting it to the correct wavelength, 532 nanometers green. Whoops, it peaks at 51 milliwatts. 50 times more than as labeled. After 20 seconds, it has dropped to 34 milliwatts. Now for the Mini. Again, well above 1 milliwatt. It measures 18 milliwatts after 20 seconds. Quite a bit lower than on the Sanwu. This is why I switch between the power meters after each run. After the 10 runs, it is clear that um, this crappy laser is anything but stable. Strong when cold, but unstable when warmed up. However, if I remove the first cold start run, the measured average is close for the 2 meters. I just can't conclude anything on the Mini's precision with this unstable laser. Only that both meters reveal it is a class 3B laser you need laser safety glasses for would you have known from looking at the laser's label. Now for a better build laser. Hopefully this will be more stable in output. Yep, this looks more legit. There's a clear trend where both meters show the laser is getting a little weaker as the laser diode heats up. With this laser, it looks like the Mini consistently measures a bit higher, around 7% more in average. I wonder if it is because I can't input the wavelength on it, and how much it matters. I decided to test 10 times more with the same laser, but only on the Sanwu, switching between setting it to 660 nanometers red and 405 nanometers violet, two common laser colors at each end of the visible spectrum. 
Okay, the setting does make a difference, but not much on the Sanwu. It is a fine tuning since it absorbs the violet better and corrects for this. How will the Mini perform using a violet 405 nanometers laser? I will use this strong 500 mW laser module. Having a laser power meter is important for violet 405 nanometers Blu-ray lasers. Due to how close they are to ultraviolet, your eyes can barely see them. Violet lasers are always way stronger than your eyes tell you. I am fairly experienced with lasers, but I still thought this laser module was a scam when I turned it on for the first time. It looks nowhere near 500 mW strong. In the video recording, you can't even see a reflection of light from the violet laser dot on the sensor. But both laser parameters reveal it is a very powerful laser. Bordering laser safety class 4, the highest, most risky class. Once again, the mini measures higher, around 8% more in average. Probably would be lower if I could tell it I use a violet laser. But still way better at judging the true laser power than human eyes. Alright, after a short message, I will stress test the Mini with a much stronger laser. Thanks to all my generous patrons. The laser power meters were bought with the help from my patrons, making this video possible. For just a dollar a month, you can help me out too and get full access to all my posts on patreon.com. Link in the description. Thank you. This is a 1500 mW blue laser, and even more interesting in this case. For this laser, I have a professional measurement from the factory to compare with from when the laser was new over 7 years ago. Back then, it peaked at 1.54 watts and averaged 1.49 watts over 20 minutes. How will my meters compare with this? Nice. This result tells me the Sanwu is the most precise of the two. The average of 1590 mW measured on the Mini is too high. After 7 years of wear and aging, the laser diode cannot be stronger than it was from new. My sample of the Mini tends to measure too high, but don't assume they all will. At this price level, I don't expect them to be individually calibrated or use components with tight tolerances. During this high power test, I also realized something else. I never thought of this before, but the black and white contrast on the Sanwu screen makes it easy to read with different laser safety glasses on. Here are some examples. The Mini can be ordered with different screen colors, but only the blue was in stock when I ordered. The blue is bright and fits nicely with the cold aluminium case, but having other colors could be interesting. For testing strong blue lasers, a blue screen is not the best choice, since the safety glasses will block the screen readout too. Another difference I need to address is the max laser power each meter will handle. The Sanwu can be used for lasers up to 20 watts. The Mini is advertised at up to 10 watts, but I wouldn't trust it for high-powered lasers after reading this section in the manual. It is not the clearest English, but I think the issue is overheating of the sensor's heatsink. These power meters rely on heat transfer to measure the laser light's power. If the sensor's heatsink cannot get rid of the heat fast enough, the heat transfer and therefore the reading will be too low. It is the easiest to demonstrate with the Sanwu. 
Notice what happens when I heat up the heatsink with my hand. I get a minus reading. The sensor is now colder than the heatsink, making the power meter think it is being hit by a laser beam that cools the sensor instead of heating it. Using a strong laser on the Mini will easily overheat the heatsink, giving a false too low reading from inadequate heat transfer. With that said, I collected lasers for over 20 years before I got a laser that outputs over 2 watts. Most people will never need the max 20 watts on the Sanwu. It is just nice to have the option. To sum it all up, the Mini is not the best and most precise laser power meter ever. However, it is much, much better for estimating a laser's power than your eyes or from the label on the laser. Having the Mini is far better than not having a laser power meter at all, especially for violet and deep red lasers. All right, that's it for now. I consider opening the two laser power meters for a look inside and testing them with infrared lasers. Subscribe and click like if you like to see that video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.